Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a delicious recipe that will make your taste buds jump for joy. Get ready for a cake that is so scrumptious, it will have you reaching for seconds. We're taking a classic cake and giving it a mouth-watering twist with creamy cottage cheese and decadent chocolate. So let's not waste any time and dive right in. First things first, let's whip up the batter. In a mixing bowl, beat together the butter and sugar until they're light and fluffy. Think of it as a sweet dance party for our ingredients. Now let's invite 250 grams cottage cheese to join the fun. As we mix it in, it adds a velvety smoothness and a tangy twist. Next, we need to crack 4 eggs into a single bowl. Listen to that satisfying crack and gentle plop as our eggs land in a bowl. Now we can beat them in one by one into the batter. In a separate bowl, we need to add the dry ingredients. 2 cups cake flour 2 teaspoons baking powder and half a teaspoon salt. Now gently sift them together, like you're creating a soft snowfall. Add this mixture to the battery bowl. And let's not forget the star of the show, a splash of vanilla essence for that extra flavour kick. Just beat enough until everything is incorporated. The batter will become thick, so use a spatula for the rest of the mixing. Now it's time to prepare our cake pan. Grab a 23cm loose bottom cake pan and give it some love. Line the pan with baking paper. We want this cake to slide right out. Pour that smooth batter into the pan and watch it settle in with a satisfying thud. Next, grab your trusty cutting board and grab a 150 gram slab of dark chocolate. We're gonna chop it into bite-sized pieces. Did you guys know that chocolate has a royal history? It was once a treasured indulgence reserved for kings and queens only. But today we can all enjoy its decadent flavors and create something extraordinary. Oh, and let's not forget about the walnuts. Chop up 100 gram of those nutty delights as well. Mix the chocolate and walnut pieces together. Now, grab yourself a handful of the chocolate and walnut pieces and let the sprinkling begin. Shower the pan with chocolate and walnut pieces. Generously spreading the joy in every corner. For the extra touch of flavor, sprinkle a teaspoon of cinnamon on top. Now grab a knife and gently swirl everything in. Then take a spoon and with the back of it smooth everything out evenly. It's show time in the oven. Pop that pan of deliciousness into the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and let the magic happen. Set your timer for 40 to 60 minutes and resist the urge to peak. We want this cake to rise and shine. To check if it's done, you can insert the skewer into the middle. If it comes out clean, our cake is ready. Now tuck the cake out of the pan and let it cool on a wire rack for a few minutes. Now let's add a final touch of deliciousness. Take a bowl and place it over boiling water to create a makeshift hot tub for our hazelnut chocolate. Melt that chocolate until it becomes a silky pool of delight. Now 
Next, take the melted chocolate and gently drizzle it over the top of our cake. Watch it cascade down like a delicious waterfall, making your taste buds tingle with excitement. And for an extra touch of chocolatey goodness, place some chocolate pieces on top of the cake. Let it cool and set. And there you have it, our masterpiece is complete. This recipe yields one medium sized cake that is perfect for any occasion. So go ahead and grab a fork, because it's time to indulge in a slice of this heavenly creation. Remember, happiness is homemade and every bite is a celebration of pure delight. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy baking!